the breathtaking northern lights, pristine waters, rich culture, picturesque landscape and world-class cuisines the Scandinavian nations offer them all. Though Denmark, Norway and Sweden are quite similar, each country has its own uniqueness intact. Explore Scandinavia recently organized a roadshow in which the representatives from the three beautiful nations talked more about these destinations. Well, I think Norway is well known for its fjords. Uh, fjord is a Norwegian name which many countries have adopted to Norway. In addition to that, we have the high mountains, uh, we have midnight sun and we have the northern lights above the polar circle. Uh, but we also have the culture. Uh, Dating many years back, we were Vikings uh, and the Viking heritage and the Sami culture uh, that we have is something that has defined us as uh, Norwegians. That's why we say North of the Ordinary. We also have beautiful architecture. We have the old stave churches uh, and now these days we are building many new modern uh, museums uh, and you can see that uh, Norwegian architecture has been embraced by the world so we have an architecture company that designs many famous buildings all over the world called Snøhetta. Uh, and then we have fantastic food. Uh, we have a long coastline and uh, closeness to the ocean and the seafood and the fresh fish is something that uh, we really really love and uh, we eat a lot of fish in Norway, a lot of seafood and we also send it to, to good restaurants all over the world. Uh, well leisure is definitely the biggest segment uh, for us within the tourism industry but we see more and more incentive groups coming and we also have many more individual travelers compared to group travels. But Group travel is still very important for many of our destinations but we are look, looking for more incentive travelers and individuals because we want people to feel a little bit Norwegian when they come to, to see us, to explore our lifestyle, to see how we actually live uh, and uh, embrace the nature in our daily life. Sustainability is definitely something that we are talking in, and it's not only the environmental focus which is, of course is, is important for us but to have uh, the, the financial part where we can actually employ people all year around. Uh, Norway we have most people coming in the summertime so that's our peak season uh, but there are 12 months of the year and I think all four seasons in Norway are very very nice. I think uh, Scandinavia it is the lifestyle that we have in Scandinavia. All the three countries in Scandinavia has been said that we are the happiest people in the world and I think that relates to the way that we combine our work life with our family life. The main attractions for, for Indians coming to Sweden would be to experience the Swedish lifestyle and the accessible nature. The Swedish lifestyle is built from the closeness to nature and that builds a lot of creativity, curiousness. It's from an international companies like Volvo, like SKF, like H&M and IKEA. We've always traveled the world. Now we want the world to come to us. So the Swedish lifestyle is really about openness, it's about sustainability, it's about innovation to really always innovate on the terms of the people and the, the nature. Everything from the north with lots of snow during winter, with the ice hotel, with, uh, with uh, possibilities to go skiing and to go scooter safari and to see the northern lights. It's the best place in, in, in Scandinavia to see the northern lights in Sweden. So also what you can do is also to experience Stockholm, the vibrant city, the capital of Sweden where there's a lot to a community of creativity where Spotify was created, where Minecraft was created and also where, where Skype actually was created. So that's really, the creativity is really part of our city which is both, which is built on 12, 14 islands connected by 57 bridges so you can really travel around on, on the lakes but you also can go to the archipelago because nature, even though you're in the major city, nature is always very close to you. And four years in a row uh, Gothenburg has been selected the most sustainable destination and that's an honor for us to really show that we have such a fantastic destination to share with Indians in the future. We don't have the Taj Mahal, we don't have the Eiffel Tower so actually when we created this uh, land of everyday wonder I thought yes of course this is the land of everyday wonder and that's what also we want to tell people that we don't say that this is, you will find something very uh, iconic places, but you find something unique, something that uh, for Danes is just an everyday thing, but for visitors, they think, okay, this is, this is a land of everyday wonder, this is the play, how we do with the kids, 
how we take them to kindergarten in the morning, me, myself, director and visit Denmark. When I had uh, my kids who were smaller, I took them on the bike to the kindergarten to make sure they came there. And and so so it's the whole society and that's also I think why we are called the happiest people in the world in Scandinavia. Most Indians they know Copenhagen, they love Copenhagen, but Denmark is much more. So for some years we had to import everything, Italian, French cuisine and so on, but now we're back to the basics of the Nordics. So we're very good ingredients, very high standards and a lot of uh, very innovative uh, chefs around in, uh, in, in Denmark that makes uh, extraordinary good food. Odense is the fairy tale capital of Denmark. We have a very famous uh, fairy tale writer, he's called Hans Christian Andersen. He did the ugly duckling, the little mermaid and the emperor's new clothes. Uh, many children all over the world have listened to this fairy tale. We have many castles in the island, more than 120. So many great opportunities for visitors. This is the new Hans Christian Andersen house that will open in 2021, in June 2021. So we are all very excited. When you come into this place, you will feel that you are into the fairy tales and you will be a different human being when you get out. You will really experience his fairy tales and his fantasy, the way he used uh, uh, the words uh, to make people happy.